Hey guys, Apple has officially released today iOS 11.4 Beta 5 to registered developers. Something a little interesting today happened. It's a 2GB plus download, which means it is overriding the entire operating system in iOS 11.4 from a Beta 4 to a Beta 5. Now, public beta testers who haven't seen this yet, as always, you can expect this later today or at the latest tomorrow. But what's interesting here, we have a 2 point plus a gigabyte download overriding the entire operating system but yet this does not appear to be the gold master copy it's almost a developer pre-release before the gold master copy and then gold master copy should be right around the corner maybe at the end of the week or at the beginning of next week and then an official release to the public hopefully you understand what i mean and the reason for me saying that is because feedback application as you see still on springboard and if we go over to the build number, we don't see long build numbers like these on official releases. It's going to be 15F5077A. Now, although this is a large file that you would download to update to the latest beta 5, don't think you're going to find a bunch of new features. A lot of things have been fixed. Of course, I'll have a follow-up video in regards to battery, performance, and everything, any bugs that I find throughout the week before we get the official launch. But I can already tell that Apple has been working on a lot of bugs. If you follow my videos here on YouTube, Saturday I posted a video follow-up on Beta 4 where the volume uh, widget here in Control Center, it wouldn't go along with the actual volume controls as you adjusted them. But as you see now, things are working properly. You see how the animation is moving along. And the actual volume changes with the control before on ipads it would freeze and even on some iphones that i've experienced this it would freeze the volume would not even work at all but you can see here that it's now been fixed so it looks like a good thing here it looks like apple has been working on fixes airplay 2 i'm happy to report that on this pre-release beta 5 still here also i think you guys are going to be super happy to know that messages in the cloud although this is not the gold master copy it is still here so pretty good indication that those two features will be making their way onto the official release with ios 11.4 now i want to go ahead and run just a quick geek bench here to see what we get in terms of uh, you know performance here on ios 11.4 what i would call a pre-release for the developers before the gold master copy so i'm going to go ahead and let this one finish here and i'll be right back okay so here we have the results for beta 5 42 39 on the single core score 10,270 on the multi-core score so if we take a look here at the history this is going to be beta 4 we have a slight improvement in terms of the scores here but nothing drastic the the cpu everything is running very very well everything looks very smooth uh, in beta 4 apple did adjust a few things we did have a few bugs that i mentioned but they're fixed uh so of course i'm going to have a follow-up video on any bugs any new features i'm going to dig around i'm also going to be testing the battery all that good stuff the software is pretty much running great it's just it was a little hiccups here and there with beta 3 beta 4 was ah uh, and then now beta 5 seems to be a little better so of course stay tuned here to the channel for that follow-up video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace